Welcome to EnrollPay. We're going to have a look at how to run payroll using EnrollPay small payroll software. Now that you have run through the setup wizard and created your employees, let's look at how to run your first payroll. Click on the Pay Runs tab to view the current pay run. On this screen, you will see your pay run name, current tax period and tax year, the payment date as well as the date that you will need to process your BAX file, if this is how you choose to pay your employees. As with any record in Enroll Pay Small Payroll, click on the pencil to edit the current pay run. Click on the sheet of paper with a magnifying glass to preview or the clock icon to view the change history. The pay run screen displays a lot of information about the employees on the current pay run. You can see a list of the employees on the system on the left hand side and three large buttons in the middle of the screen. We'll take a look at those later. By clicking on one of your employees, you can view his current pay run information. As you can see, this employee is currently not going to receive any pay. If I want to create a payment or deduction for this particular employee, I can click on the Pay Admin tab and then click on the relevant button to either add a payment or a deduction. To save time though, if I'm making the same type of payment to all of my employees, I can use Mass Administration. Make sure you have the Payments tab selected. You can either create a new mass payment or update an existing one. We want to create a new one. As you can see, we have a list of our employees and a drop-down list of the available payment categories. Let's make a salary payment to all our staff. Select the payment type from the drop-down list and click Apply. Now we can enter the number of units of payment for each employee and the amount for each unit. Our first employee is on a monthly salary, so we'll give him one unit and his monthly salary amount. Our second employee works on a daily rate and he's worked 12 days this month, so I'll give him 12 units and his daily rate amount. As you can see, the total amounts are automatically calculated. Click Save to continue. Let's go back and look at our pay run now. And let's look at our first employee. As you can see, his record has changed to reflect the payment we have created. If I look in the Pay Admin tab, I can see the payment. I can edit that payment by clicking on the pencil or delete it and start again by clicking on the trash can. I'm going to create another overtime payment for this employee only by clicking on the Add Payment button. I select the payment type from the drop-down list, enter the number of units and the amount, then click Save to create the payment. Now I can see two payments for this employee, and all of his details have been updated. His gross pay, his tax, and national insurance contributions have all been automatically recalculated. Let's go back to the Pay Run screen and see how things are looking. Click on the arrow to navigate back to the Pay Run screen from an employee record. We are ready to run a pre-closure preview. 
This lets us see the current state of the pay run. Now we can see exactly what is being paid to each employee. Their tax code, gross pay, statutory payments and deductions are all displayed, as well as their tax, national insurance contributions and employer national insurance contributions also. These are the national insurance contributions that you pay on behalf of your employees. If you want to view this preview in more detail, select Basic Details with Payments and Deductions from the drop-down menu. This will display each of the individual payment types per employee. When you are happy that all of the figures are correct, click the Tick button at the top to process all of your employees. Click the Close Pay Run button and your current pay run details will be processed.